everyone. Welcome to week seven. So we are on the home stretch here. We only have another week and a half of classes before the last day. So this would be a great time to submit any missing assignments. I promise you submitting something is better than nothing. So even if it's not perfect, please, please, please submit because then I can provi provide you with comments and you'll um, be able to understand the material better based on my comments. If you don't submit, I have to put a zero in your gradebook and that completely ruins your average. It's very difficult to pass a course with more than one zero in your gradebook. So again, if you have missing assignments, submitting something is better than nothing. Um, if you have, you know, if you want to pass this course, you just have to submit. And then again, you can review my comments and that would help you in the long run. So if you have any questions about that, please, please reach out to me. Okay, so in week seven, we're discussing client communications. And basically, the lecture materials will describe the appropriate ways for paralegals to communicate with clients. Um, we'll discuss verbal communication, um, like phone calls and in-person meetings. And we'll also discuss um, written communication, such as emails or memos or client letters. So it should be interesting. Um, along those same lines, your assignment for this week is the final exam. And similar to the midterm, it's not an actual exam. Instead, it's a written assignment, and it's using the same fact pattern. It's that same sweet Lorraine fact pattern. And this time, we are going to be drafting a letter to our client. So you're not going to have to do any external or additional research for this assignment. You should be able to use all the research that you gathered in prior weeks working on the midterm and the portfolio project. But what you are going to do is now take that research and describe it to the client. So you're going to want to make sure that your tone is appropriate for a client. You're going to make sure you want to organize it in a way that a client can understand it. You have to assume that the client doesn't have any legal background. So you might have to define some terms. You might want to um, go in chronological order of what you did and why it's important. You'll want to describe um, their facts of their case to them just to ensure that you, you both have the same understanding of the facts. And you're going to want to apply those facts to the law and give an honest, um, thoughtful discussion of what you think the case, you know, the direction the case will go. So a lot of this is tone and organization and knowing your audience. So if you have any questions as you draft, please let me know. Um, that's the only assignment for the week. We also have our discussion board as usual, and it's um, an interesting hypothetical where a paralegal um, makes a mistake and there's some ethical issues that come up. So this will be a good time for us to dive into some ethical issues when it comes to communicating with clients. So it should be good. Um, again, reach out to me if you have any questions about anything, and I look forward to working with you this week.